Welcome to this tutorial on Google Drive, how to use your CFC Google Drive for collaboration. First, I want to log into my drive and I can do that by going to drive.google.com. If I'm not logged in, I want to log in with my C of C email address and the password I use to get into Office 365. Once I log in, all of my documents are at my fingertips. If I want to create a new Google document for small group work, I go to New, Google Doc. Once it pops up, I want to give the document a title. And then I can add my content. If the document already exists, I can just open the document from my drive. And here I am. I've decided that I want to work on this library resources document with Burton Kellicott. He is going to be in my group. So I click share. And I type his name. And then it will notify him when he receives this. I might want to send him a message send. And when he gets this message, he'll be able to click and get into this exact same document. Notice that Burton is an editor. We have other options when sharing a Google Doc. You could make someone a viewer, which means they can see it only and not add to it. A commenter, which means they can only add comments to the side. Or an editor, which means they have free reign and they can mark up and delete and add as they see fit. You can also change the privacy of a document. So if you notice where my mouse is hovering, it says get link. Anyone on the internet with this link can edit. That's usually my default. However, you can change this. You can make it so that anyone at the College of Charleston with the link can edit. That means they cannot edit from their personal accounts. Or you can make it restricted so the only people that can open this document have been officially shared with. I often choose to make my privacy anyone with the link because if I embed this into Oaks, it doesn't matter what my students are logged into, they can see my document. If I want people to be able to edit the document, I can also change from viewer, commenter, and editor. So I can set this document up that anyone with this link can edit. Once I hit done, it's saved. I can simply copy the link. And then when I share it with someone, I can paste that link in an email. Now that I've shared my Google Doc with Burton, I'm going to wait for him to log in. We can actually edit this document in real time. So if you notice in the top right corner, Burton is now in this document. When I hover over his picture, I see his credentials. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit so that you can see better. So if we're working on this document together, I can actually assign Burton activities to look at. So I can type him notes. And when I type his name in, I can actually assign this to Burton. And he can respond to me in the comment or he can edit the document. Notice that right away, he likes the wording. So if we're good, I can hit the check. There's also such a thing as track editing. So notice top right, right now our editing pen is on. So if I change anything, it deletes it on Burton's side. If he doesn't like what I've deleted, he could probably add it back. So I can see him typing in the document while I'm looking at it. But if I want to change the editing, I click editing mode. I can turn it into suggesting. So if we reenact that same thing, I can actually delete the word library. And if he likes that, he can hit the check on his end. But if he doesn't like it, he can hit the X and reject my suggestion. He has accepted my suggestion. But what if I think that word needs to be there? I can type it and he'll see it on his end and he can either accept it or reject it. He can also ask me questions about things that I choose to edit.
and all of this is happening in real time. Uh, maybe we should keep this. I can reply to him, he'll receive it, and then I can even X out my own suggestion. So he receives the note, he sees the edit, and we're working together, socially distant. When you're the owner of a document and someone gives you a suggestion, a comment, or resolve something, you'll receive an email that looks a lot like what you see here. You can see that I've deleted something, Burton has accepted a suggestion, and every time someone does something on the document, you'll receive a notification. The last but most exciting thing about a Google Doc is that you can see every single version of this document if you have editing rights. So if your students share their document with you as editor, you can click on Open Version History, and you can see the many versions of this draft. So this is what it was at 1.37 p.m., 1.39, and 2.12. You can also see that there's a total of two edits, and if you click the arrow, you can see edit one was me, you can see edit two was Burton. So you have all the power in your hands to see who actually contributed to your documents.